So the United States locks up their seventh all-time Gold Cup crown, multiple individual winners, but we're going to start big picture first and talk about what this means to the region, Mo. The pecking order since probably 2015 or so, it's been, it's been Mexico number one and then everybody else can fight for second. U.S. made that headway in June, winning the Nations League title. Now with their second trophy in one summer, both with title victories over Mexico, what does that pecking order look like now in CONCACAF? Well, Rob, I think the top spot belongs to I know where you're going. It has to be. It has to be at this point. And, and this is not to say that Mexico's not going to improve, that Mexico's not going to put up a fight during qualifying. But right now, in this moment, the U.S. is the better team. They showed that by winning Nations League. They showed that with this spirited group of players that came together over the course of what this, this past month and put together a performance that was gritty. It showed heart. It showed tenacity. It showed character. All traits that Greg will be incredibly proud of for this group of players and for this pool of players even more so as they get prepared for qualifiers starting in September. So there's a lot of positives, obviously a trophy that they're taking away from this tournament, but even beyond that, the way that he has, the data that he has on, in, in assessing this group of players is going to be incredibly valuable for him going forward. This uh, was one of the great moments in U.S. soccer history, uh, and Greg Berhalter and this particular collection of players gave it to us. And um, it was not assured, and even probably within the team, there were times where they said, well, let's see how this is going to go. And yet they came together. Uh, there were multiple players that were influential. There were multiple changes through the tournament. And in doing so, you know, we, we talked about this team, not just this team we saw in this tournament, but this U.S. men's national team making us believe again. And certainly what has happened over the last year, let's say, and certainly what has happened over this summer. I think we're completely justified in believing in this team once US again. Vamos, <laughs> eso, eso. Security, security. Uh, somebody believe. Someone believe. Take, take him out of here by a Let's sock. Let's go, USA. Oh, right. he doesn't what have a performance, any. man. You're the uh, worst. Yeah, that's all I got, Mo. I'm, I'm so happy, man. All right. I, I got nothing, bro. I'm exhausted. Okay, okay. I didn't want to cry like Alexia. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I tried so hard, and uh, it just, there was nothing stopping it. There was a, again, it, right? it, it, it all right. feels great. It Hold feels on. Great. Now, we got the whole gang up here. I, I want to go down line. I'll start with you, John. Give me an individual winner this summer for the U.S. Matt Turner, and I, and I agree with you. I, I don't think this is a, a for sure thing at all, number one. I mean, Turner made all those big saves and he kept them in the semifinal kept them in the final they don't win this thing without matt turner all right sockless Stu holden miles robinson i love him your, your little brother yeah, man yeah, your little brother. i was gonna leapfrog he you was, right now but you know not just scoring the goal though in the in the final it was a perfect capper for him in a position that i think there's still questions i started starting him in qualifying okay since you went with miles uh <laughs> kellen acosta yeah kellen acosta was a beast he came into this tournament and we talked about for a young group of players, you need guys who have experience, and I think he lived up to the billing. We talked about who is the potential number six if, if Tyler's not fit. Kellen's wearing, Kellen's wearing that. All right, here's one that maybe maybe you don't think, but there are going to be players that he's going to bring in that we go, eh, well, okay. Uh, Roldan. Uh, I think Christian mm -hmm. Roldan, as a, as a super sub, as somebody coming off the bench, to just kind of change the complexion. I mean, he came in, and the crosses, the, the way he was finding players, uh, he did change that game. And to your point, Rob, there are going to be times where there's, there's multiple games in a short period of time, and injuries and all sorts of stuff's going on. So maybe we see a – I think he really improved his stock uh, over this tournament. Who's Rob Stones? Uh, Greg Berhalter. I think mm. Greg Berhalter was a huge, huge winner, uh, getting all the victories, winning back-to-back -back titles over the course of a summer and getting the wins versus Mexico, which, as you guys all know, is, I mean, that, that is one hell of an accomplishment. So I think there were multiple, multiple winners over the course of this summer. Uh, how do we celebrate Let's go Stu's celebrate birthday? Birthday. Yes, birthday? Yes, sir! So real quick, real quick to wrap it up, John. Oh. Yo, oh, there it is. There Look at this. Is. Look at this. Like All right. So as, as our friend, oh, you're going to do your birthday? What, what, what kind of song? No. No, 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 no. That's it's for later. Go to the bar. And yes. <laughs> exactly. We all want to go. We all want to go somewhere. Uh, so in, in the words of John Strong, two tournaments won, one World Cup qualifying to go.